Hi, hi again, and uh, welcome to part two of uh, cells and indices uh, by Mr. L. So we stopped here in the last video. I just wanted to keep the videos a little bit short that uh, it's easier to upload. Uh, so if we were given that and they ask us to simplify it, so there are many ways how we can do it. Each time is depend on the numbers you can find a little bit quicker ways but i'm just going to use the uh, the normal method that uh, most of the students would do for okay so here we would we would expand first the brackets so it get 2 square root of 3 2 times 7 is 14 uh, obviously square root of 4 we we can tell it's 2 so times 2 minus 3 we know that uh, we can simplify square root of 12. Uh, we know it's uh, it's the same as uh, 2 square root of 3. But for now, just we split it to square root of uh, 4 times 3. Because 4 times 3 is the same as 12. Plus 3 times 4 is 12. 12 square root of 2. Okay. So here we have 2 square root of 3. Plus 28. You see, uh, we can take it, uh, we split the square root of 4 uh, and square root of 3. We get 3 times, I do it step by step, it's easier for you. So 3 square root of 4 times square root of 3. Please do not do the mistake. Please do not do the mistake and say it's the same as, so we know this, there is a negative there, but don't say 3 square root of 4 square root of 3. Let me do it in here. I'm just I'm going to write a misconception here. It's 3 square root of 4 times 3. So don't do something like this. Don't say that it's the same as 3 square root of 4. Add 3 square root of 3. Okay? Don't. There is no or times. Don't. Okay? Or don't do that because the 3 is already if when you multiply it with one and then you don't multiply it again so do not do that okay here again i'm just going to write it in here so for example if we have uh, a square root of b c is it is a square root of b square root of c okay it is not it is not a square root of b a square root of c okay times a square root it is not so that that is a misconception don't do this please so here we have uh, uh, subtract 3 square root of 4 square root of 3 plus 12 square root of 2 i don't know if we get any good numbers from this or not but it's just the example that i've just got from my head so 2 square root of 3 plus 28 uh, square root of 4 is 2 so minus three times or minus three times two is six. So minus six square root of three plus twelve square root of two. Okay, can we do anything with this? So here we have two square root of three. Here we have uh, um, negative six square root of three. So we add like terms, and I can we can start better if we start with the uh, 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 this number for example is twenty eight. So 2 square root of 3 minus 6 square root of 3 is negative 4 square root of 3 plus 12 square root of 2. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we could probably write it better if we do 28 plus 12 square root of 2 minus 4 square root of 3. Okay. And that's the final answer. We can we cannot simplify it. You can write it differently a little bit, but we cannot simplify it. So uh, if they want us to uh, factorize it, or sometimes they tell us write it in form of something, we know that the common factors uh, between twenty eight, uh, twelve, and four, the highest common factor is four. So you can say it's four times seven plus three square root of two minus square root of three is the same. Okay, thank you.